Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Let's let's dig him up. I forgot about the I forgot about the heart situation. Every time forgetting about the heart. I mean, I've only forgot about it once before. Oh, Earl, it's your favorite time of day. I am a firm believer that Earl is not an evil guy. He just has a lot of knowledge of the human body, both alive and very dead. Finds all the evil necromancer stuff surrounded by bones. Very gaudy. Let's assume for a second that we don't always have a paladin, right? What if the necromancer is the one that builds and installs prosthetics? I, for one, love the idea of a nice, kind necromancer just trying to cure people. Hello. <gasps> the anti-mage forces have lost Cabano Lagoon to the Magical Academy. See, we're all bringing things back. Maybe their Ultra Wizard projects are doing pretty well. The heart of Rambunculus and... The Kidney of Rambunculus. Not that we really need that second one too much. Now, I love the idea that we've divided up the Chronomancer and the Archmage. I don't just want the Chronomancer or relations of Rambunculus being the best wizard in the colony. I think that's a bit stagnant. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit too Jurigit. It's a little bit kind of royalty, isn't it? And that's not the case. What we will do, though, is give the next Archmage the heart of the previous Archmage. Grimoire's a special case, because that was, of course, a bow that was related to her. In this case, though, um... Wowee, what do we even want to build? I mean, it's going to go to Korgra, the Barbarian. An enormous battle axe seems pretty good. Volcanic Maul, Craghammer, Bloodstained Scythe. Oh. Well, I mean, Rambunculus did have a lot of blood on his hands. I think that was the one I saw the person talk about in the comments, too. So, you know what? I'm going to do a view comment section. Ghostly Flintlock, that's pretty fun. That'd be more kind of a, I, I think, a necromancer died. Earthen Gauntlet's Verdant Bow. I think the Bloodstained Scythe makes the most sense. The problem is, we need blood. Uh, well... It's not exactly off to a good start for Korgra the Archmage, is it? Sure, we're not reversing people's age and killing them outright. We are now farming their blood to build into a cursed weapon to uh, mark the start of his world domination. I am firmly of the belief that whoever our Archmage is should determine what direction we take the colony in. Rambunculus was a chronomancer. He's a Time Lord. He was all about making sure that we had a stable colony with a lot of families working on that Ultra Wizard project. Korgra, I think, might not give so much of a shit. Coolgrass seems like quite an angry fella. Wow, we look at all this stuff. Coat of psychic energy shields them from harm. Psychokinetic aura surges around them in combat. Powering attacks and deflecting attacks. Look at that. In between her, their powerful astro form is partially fused with their corporeal body. Injury healing factor up by 100%. What the hell? This is all from Mystic Warrior. And not to forget Altex synchronization too. I think if we gave you Altex, it might be better than the armor. Jesus, you are going to be terrifying. Unlike Rambunculus, Archmage Korgrad doesn't really have a strong skill. Whereas Rambunculus was the colony builder, the best builder we were probably ever going to have. Korgrad doesn't really have anything. Animal handling? Well, we've got a better animal handler. Artistic? We've got a better artistic character. What am I going to do? Sit him in the mine all day? I've got a better idea. What if Korgrad just sits and thinks about violence? The whole point of the Ultra Wizard project was so that we could take the fight back to the invaders. We can do that now, Ultra Wizard or not. Planet Bound Shuttle is crashing nearby. I closed it immediately because I thought, oh, we've got a prison full of people we probably don't want anymore. Hello. You're not supposed to be there. Hello. You're not supposed to be there. Oh, look, everybody. It's a, it's a Balrog. You remember when I said, oh, I've added a spooky mine and something scary might pop out? Uh, spoilers, I suppose. Hello. Um, wait. Earl? Resurrect? Oh my god. Are you, are you picking up what I'm putting down here? Are you picking up what I'm putting down here? <laughs> no. Surely it won't work. Oh shit, maybe it will work. Oh god. Oh, well, let's not get distracted with crazy ideas. Hold on. I need an artificer. Perfect immunity is lovely. Oh, a warlock. That's what Anita was, but you've got the perfect immunity mutation. Puppeteer. Now, I haven't seen those either. Oh, you're another warlock. Oh, hello. I haven't seen Puppeteer at all. That could be fun. Herald of the Black Hive, Necromancer. That is it. I don't suppose this, um, this Balrog... Listen, in the full mod, they're called Bullrogs, but this is where I was testing it, and I forgot to take out the testing stuff. That is absolutely 100% my fault. But my god, I might still take your magical sight. You may have ruined what could have been a very funny moment where we accidentally woke up a Bullrog of Margoth from the mines, but my god... I will happily take a look at this. They would have seen that shuttle crashing from the other side of the base, and they would have rushed right over to see what was happening. Earl is a healer after all. Maybe he saw some people that needed help. And then maybe Korgra takes one look at this enormous warrior and says, Korgra, it's time to cook. Hold. Bring over Dingus first, because I don't know if that thing's going to wake up angry. Fill up your side focus. That is absolute nonsense, and I'm so upset. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to get something out of this. Resurrect. 
How does resurrection work? Someone in the comments said, hey, you should be using necromancer more too. Everybody's getting their wish. By sacrificing a finger, you can bring the body back to life. It will be incapacitated and their allegiances will remain the same. Not for long, they won't. The less preserved the body is, the more likely the target is to suffer negative side effects. Well, they, I think they spawn in, like, having just died. Yeah, they died on impact, so that's fine. And then we could just maybe regrow the finger? I presume you can't, but... Let's see what happens. Archmage Kogra, I've got a warrior for you, my friend. For better or worse. Oh my god. It worked. Did you see that? Was there like a little animation of something going into it? I'll have to slow that down unless I was seeing something. And then... You're just an independent space refugee. What the hell were you running from is probably a better question. Uh, and then we just do... One of these... <laughs> Look at that! Oh, wow. Hello. Nice to see you. We're gonna have to give you a new name, I think. Given that we just wiped their mind, a new identity seems on the cards. Rescue Earl. And Korgra looks on in awe and in horror. Might be the most powerful of the two of them there. Rescue them. Rescue them. Korgra's the one powerful enough to actually be able to carry them back. Oh my god, what the hell have we just done? As for the rest, the puppeteer would be a lot of fun. I haven't tried puppeteer before. I think let's leave it for now. We've got enough on our plate as it is. We've got so bloody much to do after yesterday's spring cleaning episode. <laughs> Dippinest thing I've ever seen. Oh dear. Oh, baby stick, I don't want to alarm you. We might, have to, we might have to build some bigger beds. I was going to open today by saying, hey, we'll do blah, 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 blah. Go out and get some armor and enormous sword, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but now, plans have changed somewhat. To be fair, though, enormous sword we can still take off. It'll just be an enormous blood scythe instead. Not to mention we kind of have to craft an enormous sword for Gemry. Bullrog? That's an odd name. I'd have called him Chaz was his. That's the joke. That's the entire joke. Thank you. Thank you. I will be here all day. Chaz was it. The, it's bull, the, the actual, like, it's called Bullrog in the actual mod. It's just, this is the test one. It was called Balrog that I forgot to take out. Hence, Chaz was it. It's many layers deep it, when you think about it. Not really a good sign that this is the first decree of our new Archmage, but these things just kind of happen, don't they? Don't you fucking eat that. What are you doing? What are you doing? I need that for my enormous blood scythe, you little weirdo. Pack that in. They're actually eating the blood packs. Shit. How many have we lost? We've got six. Okay, get that out of there. Bean, I'll be taking that back. Thank you. Lie down. There we go. That'll do it. We've upset Metcorp a little bit, but I feel like that was probably, uh, probably a bit of a lost cause anyway, to be honest. And now we say Bloodstained Scythe. And believe it or not, Earl is our best crafter. Because who better than the Necromancer Doctor to build a weapon out of hearts and blood of our prisoners? I've always felt like Earl is a kind, generous guy. He's, he's like, not evil. He, he's distinctly not particularly evil. Does he like Korgra, or are they going to be... He doesn't like Korgra. He really doesn't like Korgra. Uh, I feel like Earl might be our conscientious objector here. Oh, but that is a fucking weapon right there. Plague Bearer, the Bloodstained Scythe. Oh, Rambunculus, is this your legacy? Mad muttering and arcane hunger? No. It mutters mad thoughts to whoever it's bonded with suppressing their mood, and it makes them 50% hungrier. Oh, shit. I mean, this is... Deeply unfortunate, but also very cool to look at. I suppose we can tick off Enormous Sword, but now another Shuttle Crash. What the hell? Or is it the same Shuttle Crash? Am I going mad? It's another Shuttle Crash. Hello. That's another test. That's another one of the tests. But okay. That's another one of the test ones. That isn't the real one either. Oh, I need to go remove those, don't I? <laughs> this, is the, this is where I was like, oh, should I test out a Rocky one? See if they're any, any good. Made it all rocky. I think it was a little too restrictive in the end, which is why I didn't go for it. Just don't worry. It's not It's not canon. Don't worry about that. Hello. We've got a mage and we have a druid. Resurrect this one. Use it as a war machine. No. No. We shouldn't have even got the first one. That was a mistake. That was a, that was an act of God. It was a gift from Rambunculus. And that's all. We'll chalk it up to that. Sorry, Wanda. I got a little distracted there by everything. Wanda, sweet Wanda. This is our uh, almost ultra wizard. I feel like our persuasion could be very good. Animal handling so you can deal with the dragons. And then maybe a little herb law. They're all kind of wizardy skills. Potions, dragons, and being charismatic and charming. 
beautiful, I suppose, out of all of them is probably the right choice. The problem with Korgra is whenever the camera is remotely near them, all I can hear is an enormous, frightening heartbeat. We are going to mine up some adamantite. Maybe we'll see another Balrog. Who knows? We're going to mine up some adamantite so that we can craft the better armor for Daylor. Don't get me wrong. The current stuff is made of dragon scale, but it could be better. I mean, whatever's the best arcane armor, I suppose. What does this stuff give? Altitude plus 5%. Load recovery, 0.3. Load limit, plus 3. Cast apply armor, basically the same. So let's go with, uh, let's go with some of, let's go with this one with the, with the cape. I like that. Make it out of adamantite, considered to be the hardest metal in the universe. There is always a gamble, of course, of mining with this. We could get an angry little dwarf pop-up and scream at us. We could get bugs. We could get a bullrog. Oh, speaking of which, speaking of bullrog, look. Volcanic ash with rain. A mixture of rock, minerals, and glass particles expelled from a volcano during a volcanic eruption. That is uh, as a result of having this on the map. It's an ash maker. Oh, God. Oh, Korgra. Does your madness know no ends? I told you Earl was going to be insane, but the fact that he's doing everything in the colony. He's doing the healing. He's doing the planting. He's now making us magical armor along with the magical weapons. He's the one that's convincing the prisoners and people to join us. He is the right hand of Archmage Kulgrat. That is going to take the rest of your life. What the hell do we do with these prisoners, can I ask? Should we just, should we just let them go? We don't need to re revert any ages currently. I mean, Korgra might demand an age reversal because he's 26. Dictator Korgra demands an age reversal. You might think, okay, well, you can't just play him as a dictator because he's a scythe-wielding barbarian. He's also greedy. He's re I would need a really impressive bedroom, but I mean, I, that's not quite just what greedy means, I think. I think you would also want him to be in his prime. Greedy for power. Don't hit him with that one. That's absolutely the wrong spell to use. Hits him with one of those right there. Did Rambunculus like Korgra? I kind of wish I'd have checked. I didn't realize that Korgra was going to be the one that would... You just run about by nine years. What the, what the fuck happened there? I had it the other way around in my brain. I thought Grimoire gained 10, they lose five. But no, it's way more powerful than I realized. Oh, Korgra, you are, you're a very greedy man. Play the character. Greedy for a good scythe, greedy for power, and greedy for some fancy armor. Obviously, our wizards are not just going to stand there and let him take over and become a crazy dictator. I think they'll indulge him a little bit, right? We've got another true dragon here. My God. I think they'll indulge him a little bit. Him saying, I want a new carpet in my bedroom. Okay, Archmage, whatever you want, Archmage, I'll listen to him going off again. You know, they'll just kind of hand wave it away. That's not a big ask. I want a powerful scythe and powerful armor to help Wizard Nation. Okay, Archmage, I guess that makes kind of sense. If he said, build me a castle and call me king, I feel like Grimoire would, would give him the suck. Not in the way Sir Max gets it, you know? What the fuck is happening today? Another shuttle crash. Hello? A bard. We need an artificer. Uh, excuse me, have you ever heard of an artificer? I'm looking for sailors, or in this case, just a single, I just want a single, I just want a single artificer. Just so that I can make Korgra's scythe masterwork. My fault for burying Rambunculus is my fault for letting Grimoire's emotions dominate and have her kill Rambunculus or, or, or allow him to die rather than stripping him off and following proper wizard protocol. She was just too emotional about losing both of her grandparents like that. They call us together and celebrate Munchie and Slade's marriage. No, hold on. The new armor is complete. Oh my God, that is edgy. Jesus. Oh, go gather. Gather. Gelza and Frog's always riding Gelza. It's the second time you've turned up on that enormous gold dragon. Munchie and Slate are beginning their marriage ceremony. Oh, happy day. Happy day. Well done, Slater Munchie. You're two people from totally different worlds meeting star-crossed lovers. This is, uh, this is a nightmare. This is a total nightmare. It's dragons and wizards chatting. The whole world. I can't even make out what the hell is going on. Oh, no social fights. I'm actually shocked given how angry all of these archons are. Prison break. Well, I suppose that solves my problem. Let me ask you, what the hell are we going to do with them? This, this will solve it, yes. Archmage? Oh, you fools. Oh, you fools. Oh, you fools. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, Go. Have your fun, I suppose. Do what you like. Bertha, stay back. The Archmage has this under control. I think I might turn off Auto Cast Beckon because he does it when we really don't need it to happen. Okay, okay. I can't turn it off right now, but I'll turn it off in a second. Fight them. Korgra. What the fuck were you doing, Korgra? Okay, I feel like that's not Korgra's fault. I feel like that's definitely the fault of of beckoning them over. The Archmage fumbled the bag, okay? He got a little, he got a little uh, ahead of himself. Dingus died? Dingus died? And now Dread, Daylor Dread. Psychopath. 
He can't bear it. He can't bear what just happened to his wife. Earl, we need a hand here, pal. We need a, we need a hand here, pal. See if you can get this under control. Amazing. Great work. Okay, uh, maybe maybe pull back slightly. It was a nightmare. Well, I told you we needed to move this prison. Did I not say we need to move this bloody prison? Daylord's coming to fist fight them. Avenging his wife. Oh, God. He's not trapped in there with you. You're trapped in there with him. Now, I'm not super upset about Dingus dying. Dingus was going to die in a couple of days anyway. So, at least she died. She died a hero. Okay, she died trying to save the colony. Is that not better than her just lying in her bed and passing away? I think that's a lot better. I think I'm all right with that. What I'm not all right with is how pathetic the Archmage was. That was that was not a great show. Again, I think it's probably down to that autocast being a bit pathetic. Oh, what is going on? Why are you not fighting back? What the fuck? Fight! Fight and kill! He wasn't even fleeing. He's just standing there letting them wail on him. You fucking idiot. Oh my god, someone come and save Earl, for Christ's sake. He's a kind necromancer, okay? He's a kind necromancer. He can't help it. Here. Let's get Munchie's stick to go down there. He wasn't even fleeing. He's just standing there letting them wail on him. You fucking idiot. Oh my god, someone come and save Earl, for Christ's sake. What a fucking mess. Thank you, Bertha. Thank you. Someone with some gumption in this bloody colony. Chaz was no longer capable of walking. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, any other situation, it would have been impossible to recruit this person, but because we've got that ridiculous mind wipe power. Great portrait, by the way. Really impressed by that. Thought it would be a little bit better when you at least you were upright. But because we've got that incredible mind wipe power, we can just we just we just get him. We just get him for free. The loot insanity. Absolute why are you down already? What happened? Hypothermia. Hypothermia. Because it's too cold. You are going to be impossible to manage. You're gonna be absolutely impossible to manage. Hey, I've got an idea. What if you sleep in in the, the furnace room? That could work in the incubation area. And if you get some clothes on too, you'll be able to Oh my god. Okay, that's not really what I expected. <laughs> uh, we may have to build the enormous... A new outfit. Hold on. Uh, bull, bull rog. The bull rog. Let's build you uh, a new outfit, I think. Basically, whatever gives the most insulation so you don't start dying of hypothermia unless it's any time but, like, the middle of summer. Bloody hell, that's another problem, isn't it? These things radiate heat. Living furnace means any room they are in increases its temperature until it... I mean, until it reaches the, the, the absolute limit of the game, right? I had to take the door off of the hospital for exactly that reason. Because while they were in there, it was heating up to like 300 degrees. What the hell are we going to do with you, Bullrog? Okay, well, let's swap you over firstly to a nighttime schedule. That would probably help out. Just absolutely insane, isn't it? <laughs> Lady Bullrog. Lady Bullrog. Dread? Our new bard? Wow. Um... Yes, I've given her uh, Korgras old armor. That certainly is something. My god. Right, and now you know what my plan is going to be, of course. Perhaps, more importantly, Archmage Korgra has a plan. A plan to make the ultimate wizard warrior. You can make your ultra wizard, which is all about casting spells and stuff that Korgra has very little interest in. Magic should be used to fight the invaders. And what better way to make a powerful magical child than this. I don't think Korgra would be attracted to an enormous Balrog. Uh, but with a bit of magic, he can force himself to be. It's a sacrifice he's willing to make for this colony. Does this even work? Low opinion. Okay, you're telling me there's a chance, though. It's not It's not off the menu. It's not like Balrogs cannot romance. Problem is him falling in love with her. Minus 500 because she's Eldritch. How do we get around that? How do we get around that? There has to be a way. I refuse to believe there isn't. Try and make a man fall in love with an enormous demon. How can I do that? Because psychic, psychic love doesn't keep stacking. It seems like it only works once. Plus 40. And then it didn't, it didn't increase any further. I mean, I can try it again just to really hammer the point home. Boom. And then if we go to uh, social, Chaz was a plus 40 still. There has to be a way. There has to be a way. Arranged marriage? Arranged marriage, a lot of people are saying I'm not using it. It's because it only works on two people who are already in a relationship. So there's there's no point. Leave it with, with me and we'll see if we can figure out a way. Maybe psychic sensitivity affects, uh, affects it. So if we upgrade dread, that might work. And if we upgrade the psychic sensitivity of Chazwaza, another conquest. I don't see everything working properly now. Magical Academy has lost Western Branch office to Megcorp. <laughs> I presume that's what Metcorp made it into. I presume the wizards didn't have a western branch office like a fucking bank. And what is happening today? What is happening today? Ooh, honeycomb, delicious. 
slave ship. Is th there's no way for us to communicate with them, though, is there? We've tried it before. What the fuck? The valid trade zone to trade with remote groups. Valid trade zone. Is it actually working now? I haven't tinkered with that. I haven't touched that. This is just this is just changed. It's just working now. Maybe it was always working and this was what I was missing. Ah! Not now! Come on! That could have been my artificer, you big bitches. Employees from Metcorp are all over the place. And we got got worms. What is happening today? Oh, you give me a gift of an enormous, enormous bullrog warrior, and then you just keep slamming me over and over and over and over. Oh, God. Where, are, where is everyone? We've got scythers inside the walls. Shenron. Shenron, what are you doing? You've been shot by a rifle. Get out there and fight, goddammit, Shenron. You're an enormous dragon. Are they able to get through? Oh, Chaz Walser, we might need your hand here. Oh, hold on. If Chaz Walser opens the door, Chaz Walser has to stay out of the light. But if we just put you there, do you think they'll go for Chaz Walser? Grimoire. 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 Grimoire's been shot. What happened? Why are you down immediately? That's either a spine or a brain injury. Or maybe you've just been shot in the foot. Yeah, no, that too. <laughs> That's all the ones basically inside the walls dealt with. Hopefully they can hold them at the top there. These are my combat wizards. Um, I think we need more help at the top than we do at the bottom. I have built some... I, I call them defensive structures if you want. I think that's being a little bit generous. I'm going to take Munchie's stick down because Munchie's stick has Berserk Pulse. Oh, to be fair though, this area is almost totally dealt with. How, how far away can Berserk Pulse be? Ah, oh, not, not far enough. It's going to say maybe we get behind these embrasures. We hit them with that. Regular Berserk? Oh, we're still too far out. Go on, Munchie's stick while they're distracted. Because if we can just do this, just do this. Watch, watch, watch. Trust, trust in monkey's, mun munchy stick. It's called a monkey stick then. Go. No, 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 no. Over. Berserk. Berserk. Why is, it, why is it not working? Why the fuck is it not working? Why is it not working? Oh! Why did it not work? Bullshit! Looking like our fuck and didn't get anything to show of it. Right, hold on, hold on. Artificer. <gasps> <laughs> I will make an exception for the 18 colorless limit to uh, get ourselves a new artificer. They're all dead. That's good. These arcane pylons are nuts. Uh, you're down. You're down. Oh, Earl was out there. Oh, fair enough, Earl. Sign. Were you hitting them with the rock? Bertha took out the scyther, though. Emerald spear. Well done. God damn. I just kind of trusted them to get it, get get the job done while I was looking away. They did a great job. Okay, you're like an undraft then. Polly, where did you get that jade muffalo from? Munchie got caught in the crossfire. That's tremendously frustrating. I don't understand why Berserk just simply wasn't working. Are you carved from magic? It just wasn't casting. You definitely had line of sight from there to there. You know how I know? Because he got fucking shot from there to there. Total bullshit. He's not getting resurrected. That's bullshit. That's actual bullshit, and I'm not sure what the hell happened. So, Max, freeze the dick off. I'm never using Frost Ray again. Yeah, so, hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Just to clarify. Last time I used Frost Ray, it didn't work. Someone got shot and died. People were saying, oh, you, you aimed at the wrong spot. Is that the wrong fucking spot? Is that the wrong spot? Where do you want me to fire this, huh? Frost Ray. Fire it, th uh, fire it through them? I can't fire it at a wall. Frost Ray. Bruh. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Get him, Sir Max. You get him. One day they'll be dealt with. One day they'll be dead, Sir Max. Fuck Frost Ray. Oh, I, I hate, I hate Frost Ray. We're just gonna, thank you. That's all it took. That's all it took. A single ice spike. They're Metcorp. They're our worst enemies. They're worse than our worst enemies. Get them captured. You're an artificer. Wonderful hair, by the way. Wow. You're an artificer. Get Dread up here and immediately. Oh. Dread doesn't have that skill yet. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Uh, Dread, 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 Dread. Non-stop meditation schedule for you then. Dread is still supposed to be supposed to be learning. Dread is a child, but we just simply don't have time for these things. Oh no, Dread is fifteen. I mean, that's still a child, but in real terms, that's it. You don't need to. You don't need school anymore at that point. Well, I guess we'll try it the old-fashioned way then. There you go. And now a space battle. Listen, I don't know what's going on up there. I don't know what the hell is going on up there, but this needs to stop. Get it built fast. I think the trade ship's still here. Uh, who's our best? Well, I mean, obviously it's Earl. Who's our best anything? The answer is simply Earl all the time. Go. Okay, so, um, what is, what is wrong with that? Oh, we can't sell that because, of course, Arcane Unity doesn't allow it. Fair enough. That's good. Archmage Korgar, even though he's greedy, we're not going to allow that to happen. The Wizard Council have voted no. Harmon. Uh, Nullkind, nothing really worth grabbing there. Jama is quite clearly just a wizard. We should buy them and free them. I think we just buy them and release them for the time being. I think that's fair. Um, sell them a dragon? We don't need this many dragons. Trade dragons for wizards. That seems reasonable. Boiling fruit gives you heat immunity. Oh my god. J 
Genevieve? Hello? Are you the same person from before? No way. No, no, no. This is a different Bullrog. That's a different Bullrog. Don't worry about it. Donovan. Donovan, hello. Are you any good? What is that? Doctrine of Omnism. Child birth... Ch chilled birth prayer? What are you talking about? I don't know what's happening. Ignore the greater world. Focus on Wizard Nation. Was it dangerous to send a man wearing robes to face down two people with charge gear? Well, I mean, technically he only died because either our turret shot him or they shot past him and hit the turret. So they, they weren't shooting at him. And if I'd have got the Berserk Pulse up, it would have worked fine. Real, hello. <gasps> enslaved. No, 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 no. I don't want them enslaved. No, 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 no. We'll deal with that in a second. Hold on. Goodbye, munchy stick. I feel like as soon as you joined us, you left us. Flatluster. That's because nobody knew who, Mun who the fuck was Munchy Stick anyway. That's a character that's going to be forgotten about and never heard of again. Dingus. Dingus, though. Fetid. Dingus. Wife of Daylord Dread. Did they have a kid in the end? Sorry, it's really hard to keep up with the family tree. Um, they did, of course. Sunshine Dread. How could I forget about that? Bertha, Bertha Cummins now has old age, too. Oh, we're losing so many people today. Maybe that's for the best. Given that we're apparently gaining a lot of new people today. <laughs> this one is sadder because Sunshine Dread is friends with Potable Water, Bertha, and Wanda Clements. Uh, whoever the hell Silence is, apparently part of Met Corp, don't know why. Uh, has a lot of friends. Friends with Earl, of course. Very good relationship with her father there, too. I feel like this is much more of a family funeral, much more of a family affair. I think the dragon just ate that body. It did. The dragon just ate the body. A good, great return. A good, great return. That's always nice. Maybe it's a bit of an honor in Wizard Society to be eaten by a dragon. Because dragons, of course, are the ones that gave humans magic in the first place. Is everybody okay? You're down from gut worms. You're down from gut worms. You're okay. okay, the whole colony's been wiped out by gut worms. If we can just get the Arcanium vest done, that's it. Kulgrar is, is, is maximum potential. Gloves and boots. Bollocks, I forgot about those. Sorry, do you want to explain what the fuck that was all about? What just happened? Oh my god. Those rough plated monitors must have hatched. Slate Muffalo, hello. Must have hatched and gone Manhunter. And then they've shot. Oh my god. The, the, the turrets must have shot that, which made us lose mood. But I'm not sure what the hell that power was they used. I don't know how they've done that, but I'd sure as hell like to get it for myself because that was insane. Let's try and uh, go rescue Dr. Blackthorn. We've got to try and patch up some. Uh, Relation issues that we may have just caused with that. Rare dragon leather seer's boots. That's awesome. A gift for Korgra. Boom. And now he should be. He's totally complete. Oh, my God. Archmage Korgra. There he is. Yes, please. Emancipate these people. Please emancipate these people. We're not supposed to have them in our colony. They're, they're fellow wizards. Earl, get them out of here, please. Goodbye, Rel. See you later. That might hopefully improve relations. They'll go back and tell the the, the arcane uh, uh the, the arcane university the whatever they're called. They'll say, "Hey, they bought us from a slave ship, and then they did kind of forget about us for two days. But after that, they let us free." I just don't know what to do with all these prisoners. We release them and try and open a dialogue to peaceful relations. The war ends. Korgra would never agree with that. Come on, and that's another shuttle crash. What is happening today? I'm gonna have to disable that because this is. What are you doing? Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> That's another another test ball wrong. It's my it's a hundred percent my fault. Oh, those are some spicy chilies. My bees! Why does this always fucking happen to my damn bees? Put the fire out. I turned off firefighting because it kept interrupting the burials because the, the shit outside the wall was on fire. The, the issue we've got is I don't think we can sort many of these kids into houses at this stage. I think it's only one that's left because the uh, uh, obviously these ones have that early maturity aspect. Mage circle sorting is over. Party is beginning. Wonder is now a lunar initiate. That's the second lunar initiate we've got, right? Animal handling and artistic. Oh, congratulations, Wonder. Boom, there you go. As for the people we've missed, I, I, I we, we can crank the age back on them, I suppose. Crank the age back on baby Lopez. The only problem with that is I'm not sure it'll actually work or, or, or if it is even worth doing on the Archons. They were adults anyway. They've already got a backstory. More importantly, with the early maturity, we might end up cranking their age back. Uh, two or three times, and they might disappear from reality again. I don't want to take that risk. Instead, of course, we will give them a different gift. The gift of love, pal. Love. Love. Amazing. Okay. Uh, and then dread and potable water. You'll blast yourself now, dread. And kapow. There you go. And then romance. Ro romance. Why? What's wrong? Straight. Straight. What's happening? Oh, you're 15? You just made just 15-year-old fall in love with you? 
Dread. Well, I never. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, it's obviously not fine, but we'll sweep it under the rug, as all good crazy organizations do. <laughs> really, I mean, it is fine because these aren't, they're not human. They've got that early maturity, etc., etc. This might be perfectly acceptable in their culture, but we are going to follow our own rules here. Oh, no, what was the problem then? Why the fuck did you fall over, you little weirdo? Stick! Stick became a child. Hello, Stick. Remain colonist. Hello there. Now, no more forgetting. Use the orb. Begin the, oh. You need an initiate. Oh, they need to be older. Go, Dread. Go, Dread. Two more points. Two more points. You need like a level and a half. Hold. Arcane. Shard. We've got one. You need half a level. It's okay. Oh, we're back on. We're so back. We're so back. Hold on. Kabang. Kabang. Yes. Half a level. Go. Meditate. Go. Go now. Wait. I think we could do something awesome with Bertha instead of just letting her go gently into that good night. What the hell do you mean? What the hell do you mean? Go away. We've got all these characters we don't want and we don't need and are quite frankly clogging up the base. We send... Uh, uh where, where are you? Who was dying again? Oh, God. No, that's a bug. That's an exploit. I'll fix that. That's that's not supposed to happen. And then we just have them form a little camp for us because as long as one of our people is there, they can keep it running even if it's just a bunch of prisoners. Beautiful. What happens when Bertha dies? I don't know. We're going to find out. It was that or she was just going to lie in the hospital waiting to die. Bertha going out there and setting up a hunting camp is, is cool because she was our primal, remember? So I'm happy with that. I think that's a good outcome. Why is the Bullrog the warden? Okay. Uh, Grimoire's in labor. <laughs> What's happening? Go. Show me. Show me the new ultra wizard. A better ultra wizard because there were a few things we missed. Baby Bloodfang. Oh my god, what's her name? Sh Wait, hold on. What did Wanda have before we have a look? Scarless. It ain't magic. Magical insanity. Nature attuned. Magical sight. We miss magically sensitive, but nature attuned, I think, is still better. Bloodfang? Oh, wait. Uh, is worse. Oh my, wait. You just got magically sensitive. Oh yeah, is is actually worse in like every way. You're like way worse. You didn't get Scarless. Your magical potential is down massively. Did you get anything else? Oh, you got never sleep. Oh, hilarious. Yeah, well done. So, pants shitters, I leave you with a simple question. I need a way to get Chazwaza and Korgra into a relationship. How do I do it? The uh, new version of the, uh, well, the, the final, the real version of the Xenotype doesn't have... Bruh. Okay, that's not too bad. Doesn't have the UV sensitivity or the Eldritch uh, visage. I, I've dropped the amount of genes it has down enormously. So if I swap it over to the new version of the, uh, the, the Balrog Xenotype, the real version, it could be possible. So I could just do that. But if there are any creative, clever, interesting ways you can think of, if there is some sort of magic power that I've missed, some sort of awesome way that we can make this work and we can get Korgra, the powerful half-demon son that he's always wanted, a very edgy man that he can pass down his rambunculous hearted blood scythe to, then by all means, please let me know. And we'll see what we can work on. Thank you to Cletus, Mysticos, Cryo, 121, John Viral, Biblically Accurate, Toothpick, Kiavaka, Night Rouge, Cryoxis, Kiga, 220, Heathen, Christopher Peck, Coyote, Seattle, Gazoos, Mostly Harmless, Dust, Bill, Sarsaparilla, Galupo, Necrophilon, Mordecai, Zuba, Texas, Yardbird, Mythomatic, Cataphract, The White Fox God, I Love You Too Much on Jingo, and... Roan for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for being here. Crusader Kings 3 starting soon. I've actually got a good series idea for it. It's going to be very simple, very um, straightforward, but still weird. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. Thank you as well to uh, Kyrus, Attila, William Steinbrick, Roman von Klein, The Legend Boss, Renker, David Van Diepen, Fungus Joe, Callum James 3, Metbar, Loxris, Dramatic Willow, Crowd Slayer, Zero Seven, 7 Alcatraz, and Hordry. Hershenson for their support as well. Goodbye. Bye. I wish you all sweet, enormous, bullrog demon-filled dreams.